What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden, at age, what, 60? He's just going to break bad? So let me just take time out. Let me take time out right quick. Let me take time out to, to, to talk to you. You see, these billboards out here that says, uh, I can get them settlements for you from, from big trucking companies. Call Mike the Hammer. Call Highway Dave. Call Lucy Lou. Big Red Tim. Call all of them. And they're going to get you the best representation that money can't buy. Because they only get paid if they win the case. So I just want to sit back and talk to you for a minute. Please don't get homicidal around, around me, around truck drivers, around us. Please don't. Please don't. This is, this is, is our job. Our job is dangerous as it is. We have to stay focused. We have to pay attention. We have to see what's around us so that we won't make no mistakes. Now, when a truck driver make a mistake, it can be deadly. But you guys out there, the motoring public, y'all can help us from not making the mistakes. You want to know how you can do that? I'm about to tell you. We do a pre-trip every morning. And part of the pre-trip is to make sure that our left, right, and four-way blinkers are working. We're going to make sure of that. You want to know why we make sure that it works? Because when we turn it on, let me explain something to you now. When we turn it on, that indicates that we're about to get over. If I turn on the left blinker, I'm about to get over to the left. If I turn on the right blinker, I'm about to get over to the right. Now, there are sometimes some, you know, some of us tends to forget to turn the blinkers off. But then that's when the beeping sound comes in and let us know. All right. And then we turn it off. If we're pulled over to the side of the road for more than 10, 5, 10 minutes, our blinkers, we, we had to pull out, we, we got to put out the, the triangles. But when we pull over to the side of the road, our four ways are on. Y'all know what four ways is? That means all four of your blinkers blinking at the same time, meaning that it's either A, we're slowing down, B, something's wrong, or C, we're, we're, we're taking, you know, we're taking our time. Blinkers, people. Blinkers work. And when they do their job effectively, we can do our job effectively. You want to know how effectively we can do our jobs? I'm about to tell you. When you see them blinkers left or right, that should automatically tells you that we're getting over. It also should tell you to probably slow down so we can get over. I just want you to understand that. When we turn our blinkers on, that doesn't mean for you to speed up. That's, that's what the blinker don't mean. When I turn the blinker on, okay, listen now. When I turn the blinker on, it does not mean for you to speed up and try to hinder me from getting over. Another thing, when I turn my blinker on now, listen, pay attention. It does not mean for you to, to, you to side ride my trailer. It does not mean for you to side ride my, my blind spot. It means for you to either A, speed up or slow down so I can get over. 
How many times I got to explain this to you guys, man? Y'all, y'all, y'all went to school, right? To get your license, right? I'm sure in school, in driving school, same thing with your truckers. Now, listen, same thing in driver school. They explain to you what the blinkers mean and explain to you what the blinkers do. Explain to you why the blinkers work. That's why truck drivers now, truck drivers follow me now. That's why truck drivers do pre-trips when they get up in the morning. They want to make sure that their blinkers work. You follow me now, truck drivers, right? Okay. All right. Now, I will respect you when you turn your blinkers on. Now, I'm, I'm talking to you, truck drivers, passenger cars. But truck drivers, you do the same damn thing. Y'all side ride me. Why? Why? And you see the blinkers on. You, sh you professional truck drivers should give me that courtesy automatically. Automatically. You should give me that courtesy, man. I would give you that courtesy. If I see your blink, if I see your blinkers on, especially when we're in congested traffic, I will give you that courtesy so you can get over, bruh. Now, some of you may or may not have CBs. For those that do. You know, we get our information, somebody on the north side, somebody on the south side, kind of like hip us to what's going on in the in the incoming traffic. Then they'll get on the CB and let us know what lane to be in. Here's a tip, motoring public. If you in the traffic jam and you happen to see if a truck was was riding in a particular lane and then decide to get in a different lane, that needs to tell you that you need to get in that lane what that truck driver is getting into. Because nine times out of ten, that truck driver is getting in the lane that you going to need to be in. I'm just saying. Same thing with you truck drivers that don't have no CBs. You might want to invest in one. But I'm, I'm just saying. I think trucking companies should come equip their trucks with CBs and should not make it uh should not make it uh should not make it the driver's responsibility okay let me let, let me help you out now let, let me help you out let me help you out this is your truck so you should automatically equip okay now Okay, listen now, listen. You should automatically equip your trucks with CBs. That will help you out. Now, I'm not telling you guys that you have to leave the CB on all day and all like that, but you, you might want to have a CB just in case we get into traffic. But that's here nor there. That's, a, that's time for another video. All I just want to say is, yo, respect me. Okay, when you see my blinker come on, all right, Listen now, I, I made a I made a video to this. This is part two to that video. All right. And I and I it's unfortunate that I gotta keep talking about it, man. I gotta keep talking about it. They teach you this stuff in driver school. They teach you this stuff in trucking school. That's why they call us the professional truck driver, because we gotta make sure that our equipment are up the safety standards while we're driving. Now, for the Motor Republic, some of them don't have the headlights. Some of them have tape over their stuff. But we can't do that because it's important for us to have all our safety equipment working top notch. Because, again, this is a dangerous job. Okay? Hear me out now. Hear me out. This is a dangerous job. One Listen now, one mistake.
can change entire lives. Think about that. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Want you to love me all night? Yeah, take me down. Want you to make me real wet? Yeah, swim around. Want you to take it like a G? Yeah, don't make a sound.